so this is a uh, doubt clearing session if you have any doubts with respect to preparation or answer writing or you want to discuss any answer with me how to write an answer you can ask me all the questions now okay so first we will take some few questions geetika saiwani any doubts you have or ashwini yadav ashish any doubts you can ask me now hello then, sir ashwini this slide sir yes ashwini sir ashwini you have, yes sir ashwini so you have evaluated uh, most of the answers that we have submitted and i saw in most of the questions you gave 8 or 7 marks to students out of 15 so i was just wondering that what could we possibly do more to get you know 9 10 of that range because if going by this percentage uh, i think we will get 133 of 250 i will i, I got i got your doubt so listen everyone 60% is the maximum marks which will be allotted by the upsc means out of 500 300 marks but if your answer is fabulous with anthropologist names and examples then you will be allocated more marks so for me for the best answer i will be giving 60% of the marks means out of 15 9 marks is the maximum marks i will give but if any someone if i give 10 marks means the answer is very good answer so you got 7 marks or 8 marks which means that your answer is good but you need to add some examples that you, you will eventually you will develop but i gave you 7 and 8 marks such that so that you will not stop preparing you will learn something more that is the reason i gave you 7 or 8 marks but in my correction if you get 7 or 8 marks means in upsc evaluation you will get two marks extra but try to get 60% of the marks in optional papers in gs papers if you get 50% of the marks means your marks are very good marks means for 10 marker 5 marks for 15 marker 7 7.5 marks if you are getting means that you are getting a very good marks in optional paper if you get 60% of the marks then you are getting very good marks okay ashwini yes sir yes sir thank you sir good evening sir good evening ganesh boli sir i had doubt about today's class that you told that uh, the diffusion by migration is criticized i can't understand this ah see in british diffusionism we believe that and they tell that migration is one of the factor which is responsible for diffusion so what is the criticism means they told only migration is a sole reason for diffusion there might be several factors as i told you in the classroom need avashyakta pehle humko chahiye na wo cheez so you didn't discuss about need you didn't discuss about geographical proximity you didn't discuss about transportation and communication you just told if migration is happening diffusion is happening so your concept is unilateral you didn't consider multiple factors that is the criticism samajh mein yes sir thank you so by the time i will tell you how the course yes ashwini okay sir i have one more question sir you said that you will give, be giving this test series and model answers and case studies as well so i was just wondering uh, if you could guide us as to how best we can utilize these resources to maximize the score in optional paper yes i will tell you this. like you you're, you're taking lectures then we are writing answers then how should we follow the course and progress along so that we can get ah uh, samajh mein suniye so see i will be giving five contents number one is classroom notes in the form of pdf number two two textbooks will be provided number three value added content for every unit number 4 500 model answers number 5000 case studies diya jayega 1000 case studies will be given in the month of december or in the last week of november 1000 case studies so aapko kaisa karna hai bole to after anthropology unit after anthropological thought unit has been completed i will i will i will send you a compiled material value added content anthropologist name his books his contributions anthropologist name his books his contribution so that everything will be in a single chart so you no need to make your own notes i will be giving ready made so such a sort of contents what it will do it will simplify your preparation so so your preparation will be simplified by that content number 1 number 2 1000 case studies i will be giving like examples those case studies you have to write you have to read how i will give like four five lines will be there on the top on the case study title i will mention this case study you have to use in this topic so what will happen ready madely you can read that case study and ready madely you can use in the answer so your preparation will become easy so in this way your preparation will become simplified so what is your duty your duty is taking the points taking the points and writing a proper structured answer introduction 
बॉडी कंक्लूजन ऐसे अगर अच्छी तरह से प्रैक्टिस किया तो डेली आंसर राइटिंग आई एम प्रोवाइडिंग कंपलसरी वीकली टेस्ट विल बी देयर इफ यू डू रिगरसली फॉर अनदर फोर मंथ्स नो आफ्टर फोर मंथ्स यू विल गेट अबंडेंट कॉन्फिडेंस इन एंथ्रोपोलॉजी बट ओनली वन थिंग यू हैव टू डू इज यू हैव टू बी कंसिस्टेंट एवरीवन दिस इज ठीक है यस मेघर गुड इवनिंग सर माय सेल्फ मेघना uh sir presently i'm preparing for uh, 2024 uh, prelims sir uh, so is it feasible to uh, write daily answers or uh, focus on uh, the weekly uh, question and answers the test series which we get sir yes i will tell you see those who are planning for 2024 i recommend not to do daily answer writing practice not a problem but weekly tests are very very important weekly tests will give you weekly tests i will be doing more rigorously your evaluation will be more rigorous for every paper i will take nearly 50 to 60 minutes of time for evaluation i will give lot of comments when compared to daily answer writing practice daily answer writing practice also important but take more seriously weekly wala so if you write weekly it's enough and more yes mirza zaid uh, sir my question is there uh, is that sir how you supposed to make notes from the pdf sir because sir a sort of bunch of uh, information is given there and the for the very first time it seems that everything is important yeah. so how we yeah. are as a teacher i am teaching everything why because i don't want my students to complain on me that sir aapne ye a topic chhod diya aapne ye topic chhod diya sab books mein wo eb taylor ke bare mein henry morgan ke bare mein james fraser ke bare mein diffusionist ke bare mein koi bhi topic everything i am covering so that you will not there will be no fomo missing out something so i am giving exclusive content so what you have to do you have to make a revision notes main class mein bolta hu na points how many contributions are there 12 contributions how many contributions are there five contributions those five contributions should be written in your notes in the form of a revision note then what happen you know when you when you look at as revision five points yes like for example eb eb diller psychic unity of mankind culture parallels culture survivals aur kya hai uh, race is a psychological myth aur kya hai victorian society is one society every other society aspires to become aur kya hai monogenism aur kya hai animism so this all you should make like a revision notes so now itself you start making revision notes for yourself theek hai mirza yes sir got it thank you ab mirza pur se ho uh, no sir uh, lucknow geetika my doubt is sir how should our approach be towards studying subject as it is said that they are trying to make question paper dynamic making question paper dynamic sir dynamic see listen yeah. for example 2023 question paper i will take there are three one is glopto chronology other is ayappan question other is osborn so what i am doing in my capacity i am going through all the pyqs from the last 2013 onwards i am going with all the pyqs and i am trying to cover all the topics in my classroom number 1 number 2 and today i had sent you anthropology current affairs magazine what is happening across the world with respect to anthropology as a monthly magazine i am providing you it is there in the telegram channel hours so as i am covering the current affairs you no need to worry about the dynamic aspects for example in my notes ayappan ke bare mein tha which is they asked in my notes glotto chronology there was a question that topic is also covered little bit not exhaustively little bit was been covered so that little bit is enough to write a very good answer so in the current affairs magazine i am covering it so with the same class notes of five materials which i am giving if you read this monthly current affairs magazines of anthropology also you will get 300 marks got it yes sir and the most important is writing book is number 2 and the most important is you should have the command on the optional जीएस तो होता है जीएस कंपलसरी इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट बट ऑप्शनल विल मेक यू एज एन आईपीएस ऑफिसर और विल नॉट मेक यू एज एन आईपीएस ऑप्शनल मार्क्स आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो फर्स्ट यू गेट कमांड ऑन द ऑप्शनल सब्जेक्ट विकास रेड्डी दिस इज अबाउट डिफ्यूजनिज्म सर राजल ओके सर व्हाट इज जियोग्राफिकल डिटर्मिनिज्म सर आ वेरी गुड आई विल टेल यू सी विकास रेड्डी जियोग्राफिकल डिटर्मिनिज्म मींस देयर इज अ कांसेप्ट कॉल्ड अ जियोग्राफिकल डिटर्मिनिज्म दैट मींस द कल्चर इज बिकॉज़ ऑफ जियोग्राफी so geography will be determining the culture for example the people who are living in gulf countries they eat dates more they consume dates more why they will consume date more or they consume olive oil more why because the production is more the production of dates the production of olive oil is more. which means in their culture the economic subsistence is eating dates so how it became part of it it became part of it because of the geography if you go to eskimos who are living in arctic region they have igloo form of house that is their culture the culture is igloo igloo form of why they constructed igloo form of house because the temperature is very cool so in order to sustain themselves they constructed the igloo form of house so the igloo form of housing itself is their culture why they constructed igloo form of house because of the geography the geography is very cold so the culture is determined by the geography that concept is called a geographical determinism got it 
Yes, sir. And another one, sir. Uh, in his book, Anthropo Geography, proposed that people will be influenced by one another rather than geographical factors. Ah, uh, why? Because this is German diffusionism. He told that it is not the geography. Why? Because American anthropologists will tell it is the geographical proximity which will influence and the culture diffusion will happen. But American anthropologists will believe that no, no. German anthropologists will believe that no, no, no. It is not the geographical proximity which will influence. But if the people migrate, if the people come into contact, these people will carry with them their culture. Hence, the cultural transmission will happen. So, geographical proximity, which is indirectly is telling that geographical proximity is not because the geographical proximity will not be resulting in diffusion. It is a migration of things. He is giving evidence. He is debating himself. He is argumenting that migrations are responsible for diffusion, but not because of geographical proximity. Got it? Okay, sir. Sir, yes, sir. sir, if you could just tell us what are the ingredients of a good answer, means what are the boxes that one must tick while writing an answer so as to get maximum marks? I will tell you. See, what is a good answer? Good answer is addressing a question. What is the demand of the question? We have to write first. Then how we are writing second phase? There should be a proper introduction. What is introduction? The question which is asked, we have to rephrase it. We have to rephrase it and we have to express in the introduction itself. I am going to explain the demand of the question in the introduction I have to show. So E.B. Taylor has been explained about the psychic unity of mankind, which I am explaining in the following paragraphs. Second, psychic unity of mankind. The body should cover the original answer. Then conclusion. You have to conclude what you had written already. Conclusion. So, psychic unity of mankind is nothing but the people will be having the similar thought process hence there will be similar cultures. It is criticized but however, it has provided food and fodder for further anthropologists to study more. So, addressing the demand of the question and addressing that answer in a proper structured manner in a proper arranged manner is a good answer. Okay, sir. Sir, Purnendra here. Purnendra, yes. Sir, what, what distinguishes between a GS answer and a optional answer? I will tell you. See, I will take one question. A religion question I will take. With example, I will tell you. When I talk about religion, in GS you will write that. Religion is a belief whereby there are rituals, myths, taboos. These all things are part of the religion. There are characteristics of religion. And based upon the religion, there are we feeling. There is a conflict with other communities. Example, this you will write as a general studies. Anthropology answer. Religion is defined by E.B. Taylor. Religion has been defined by... Karl Marx as the opium of the masses. We we have to use the anthropologist's definitions. We have to use the anthropologist's perspectives. That will be the anthropology answer. Got it, Purnendra? Yes. And also okay. while including the point, should we add like more paras or something so as to substantiate the points that we have written? For an anthropology answer, mm -hmm. should we uh, substantiate all the points like within paras within points? Yes, yes. When we give a statement, the continued sentence should substantiate that particular sentence. Okay, sir. Chaitra. Sir, I'm finding it challenging to complete one answer within 15 minutes. Sir. Uh, can you give any tips to help me improve my writing? Yeah, and also? You are the beginner. Don't worry for time management. No need to worry for time management. Now you focus on content. Slowly, slowly, after 10 days, after 15 days, when your pen and your answer is moving quickly, means you are getting confidence. Then you focus on time management. But however, if you want to do time management from now itself, what you do? You, you make a structure, like you take a book and make a structure. Means introduction, this point I will write. Body, this points I will write. Conclusion, this points I will write. So you make a rough draft. Then you write it on the answer copy. So what will happen? You will not waste time thinking while writing an answer. If you start thinking while writing an answer, it will consume a lot of time. So once we start the answer, we should not think. For that, what we have to do? First, we have to make a draft. And this draft, we have to write in the final answer. Then your answers will become quicker. Then slowly, slowly what you have to do, you have written a draft, no? you have to stop writing draft also. You have to make a mental map. In introduction, this one I will write. In body, this I will write. In conclusion, this I will write. So these all things you have to execute on the paper. Then more time will be saved. Like this, you have to practice. Okay, sir. sir one more doubt, sir. Sir? Yes. Uh, sir, uh, in GS papers, uh, like is that, uh, uh, is this a uh, good choice to make note of main topics of GS papers, sir? Uh, by seeing the syllabus? Yes, it means main topics like this you have to do. For example, I will tell you. Internal security, example, internal security. If you want to make notes out of internal security, then you have to write pre from independence to today, what are internal security challenges? Number one, regionalism, like separate country, separate statehood, communalism, internal security problem, naxalism, 
internal security problem terrorist activities internal security problem so these are all then you have to make what is this problem what is this problem case studies what is this problem case studies then who are solving this central armed police forces then side editing who are these all central armed forces like itbp bsf this all you have to make the notes so while making your gs answers you should be very precise very clear you know you, you should not read everything what type of questions are asked in the examination and accordingly only your plan should be there. no need to read it too much limited content proper content is necessary for your gs for that to happen you have to make a notes got it up huh? yes sir thank you sir yes darisha so while writing answers uh, whether uh, writing in point format is recommended or in paragraph format very good question but i will tell you sir it depends upon the question for example uh, write about the contributions of german diffusionism which we studied today first paragraph introduction should be in paragraph only whatever may be the question whatever may be the answer introduction and conclusion should be in paragraph form then when you go to the body when you go to the body then you have to write the explanation then you have to write the explanation in that explanation for example contributions of ratzel point wise contributions of greibner point wise contributions of skimmed point wise contributions of leo frebenius point wise and that point wise if the sentence is large 1.1 paragraph 1.1 paragraph 1.1 paragraph then conclusion should be in paragraph like that you have to write also criticisms also should ah, be written okay. in point it is about 20 marker then what you will write after that however it is subjected to criticism four or five criticisms you will write in point format then you will conclude okay sir one more doubt sir sir today's uh, in today's class greibner i couldn't understand that six primeval circles and also the concept of form criterion could you please explain once? i will tell you six primeval culture means simple what he will tell means according to greibner man evolved in six places on the world so that man is a primitive man early man the culture which is developed by that early man is called as primeval culture so across the world the culture which is there who will give the early man will give so this early man is present where in this six location so from this six locations only the culture diffused to different parts of the world and the six locations are called as culture centers from where the culture got diffused to different parts of the world and these are called as primeval culture and this up to where it got spread is called as culture circle then how i came to know up to which extent it got spread then what i am doing at the culture center like australian boomerang culture in australia in that geography i will check material objects i will check some objects craft objects how this is made how this object is made so in other places also in other places also how the materials are made how this cultures are made means how these objects are made if both are same that comparison is called as form criterion so when i compare and see the material objects how they are present in this six culture centers and where it got spread if both are same means yes the culture got diffused that comparison is called as form criterion and the culture where it evolved for the first time are six places it is called as primeval culture got it yes sir thank you repeat sir. you tell me back according to greibner early man evolved in six places uh, from from those six places the culture got spread to different parts of the world it makes sense or not yes sir it's just only according to him those uh, six ah it is not true it is according to him only okay sir yes geetika sai sir in 2025 i want to give my proper attempt sir so by this april 2024 my gs coaching and including optional everything gets finished sir from may to december how should my plan be sir from may to december you should sit for answer writing practice only this is for those who are planning for 2025 from may onwards or we take june onwards from june why because prelims will be completed in 2024 then from june 2024 onwards till december you have to do rigorous gs answer writing practice and anthropology answer writing very good answer writing practice you have to do properly as if you are writing mains 2024 then from january 2025 first onwards you have to sit for prelims clearing prelims is very very tough you have to sit for prelims preparation join somewhere prelims test series and start writing prelims test series if you clear 2025 prelims you know you will clear mains very easily why because from june to may 
June to December 2024, you did rigorous answer writing. So in 2025, mains you will do. For that, what you have to do? From June to December, you have to do rigorous answer writing practice and proper revision. Okay? Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. So this is legit. So, sir, I was saying that uh, according to the diffusionist, they said that the culture originated at some center and diffused to another part. Then, uh, related to the classical evolutionists, they said that the psychic unity and the cultural parallelism is a core. So, uh, likewise, the historical particularism, it, is it that the cultural relativism is a core part? Ah, means, what, see, first what he will tell means, how culture evolved, he will tell. Okay. After culture got evolved, he gives culture relativism. Means, uh, culture is a result of history, environment and psychology. Hence, the output is culture. And then continue to it, he will tell that one culture should not be compared with another culture. Hence, culture is a result of every of their own history, their own environment, their own psychology. So every culture will be unique. Comparison should not happen. So culture relativism is not part of evolution of culture. Culture relativism is a concept given by him, but which is very core principle of Franz Bush. Second one that regarding the evidence that uh, told about the diffusionism that say like heart and the material things are uh, there in the two places. But what about the non-material culture like no, family that marriage? A, that is a criticism. Oh, oh, oh. They discussed only about materials. They didn't discuss about non-materials. And non-materials are important, like beliefs, customs, traditions. They didn't discuss about non-materials. Uh, one more thing that I could confuse like that with regard to William Terry, that he's considered the father of diffusionism. But in the note it says that he doesn't make any spe uh, specific theoretical contribution and he just supported Smith. Then why he is called as the father of diffusionism? Earlier, no beginners, no. Oh, see, it's begin starting. Somia, sir. While actually, I have started uh, uh, this answer writing uh, very recently. Yes, yes, yes tell me. Uh, while I'm writing the answers, I'm exceeding the word limit, sir. No matter how much I'm trying to fix it, but uh, I'm exceeding the word limit. So, can you please suggest me how to stick to the word limit and uh, include the uh, required content? I will tell you. So, UPSC does magic. What is that? When we have huge content, he will give for 10 marker. That huge content, we have to write only in two pages. When there is no content, like genealogical methods or field work, he will give for 20 marker. Then we have to write more. So, for big question, big answer, the space will be less. Where the content is not there, the answer, we have to write more. So, here what we have to do. When your question is with respect to, I am unable to regulate the answer. So, first you have to read the question. You practice this. Read the question. For example, what are the contributions of Franz Bose? It is asked for 15 marks. So, three pages you have. First paragraph, you write about Franz Bose. Franz Bose, German born, American anthropologist. He is a geographer turned anthropologist. Because of his contribution, he is called as father of anthropology, American anthropology, and he is considered as guru, philosopher, friend of American anthropology. His main contributions are with respect to historical particularism, culture, personality, school, as well as cultural. Then, side editing. First, historical particularism. To the point you have to write. You should not write everything. So, according to Franz Bohr's culture is a result of historical connections, psychological aspects, environmental conditions in which he gave higher importance to history. Hence, the concept is called as historical particularism. Next, cultural relativism. Franz Bohr's gave the concept called as cultural relativism, which tells that every culture is because of history, environment and psychology. Hence, every culture is unique in its context. So, one culture should not be compared with any other cultures. Hence, he is against comparative methods. So, culture should not be compared. That is called as culture relativism. Third side ending. Then you have to write with respect to culture personality school. He told that everyone will not respond equally to the culture. The, 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 the personalities will be differing with respect to the culture. Hence, he gave a call, school called as culture personality school, which is developed by Ruth Benedict and Margaret Mead, his students. See, means I am addressing the demand of the question. Here I didn't mention about field work. Here I didn't mention about what all he told. This is all I left to the point. To the point, to the point, what is the demand of the question? I address it. So we should not write everything. We have to write the demand, the, the, the demand of the question you have to address. Then you will write a conclusion. Okay, sir. Or so if I... not, you, 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 you give me one example where you cross out the word limit. I will tell how to limit it. Uh, sir, actually, I was writing answer for this uh, type marriage question. Okay. The type of marriage and its present relevance uh, in the current society. Uh -huh. So that was to 150 words. 
mm. means two pages yeah so for explaining the types of marriage itself i i, ah, no, no, I will tell you how to write see so it is 150 marks means two pages you have to write okay. marriage definition by malnovsky or 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 any other person any one notes and queries one definition you will write four lines finished then types of marriages you should not write in detail that you have to write in flow chart form or a tabular form types of marriage what are the types of marriage monogamy polygamy polyandry polygynandry one diagram one diagram example 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 one sentence what it is one sentence what it is one sentence or finish types of marriage then that is finished types of marriage then present relevance nowadays the definition of marriage which is a boy and girl coming together and establishing a sexual religious and social functions is is getting violated because nowadays the same sex marriages or the divorces are being increasing or the domestic violences which are associated to the marriage is making the marriage as futile so these are the present relevances and finally you have to conclude however the functions which are guaranteed by marriage cannot be guaranteed by living relationship like of systems hence marriage as a sacred phenomenon is still followed in the countries like india so for this question again i need not write the conclusion sir no, ah conclusion i gave you know present after that i conclude everything finally after finally the marriage is a good concept i told see here where, where you cross at the limit means you write you written everything about types of marriages no at that junction you have to make a flow chart and just you have to write in simple words Uh, yes sir while defining the uh, each and every type uh, i exceeded the world uh, world limit and one more thing sir when the question itself asked for uh, present relevance and all can we use gs content there to explain yes 100% you can use it but uh, in anthropology if you use tribal examples you will get one mark extra try to use anthropology tribal examples in anthropology fine sir like like example azande boy boy marriage your society girl girl marriages those examples you have to use sir is it okay like uh, if i uh, stick to indian uh, tribes ah, it's okay 100% okay okay fine sir that's it thank you sir yes ashish boliye sir every answer contain intro body conclusion yes every every answer contain intro body conclusion but for 10 marker questions no need for conclusion if the answer content is more you can write intro and write the content but 15 marker and 20 marker you have to follow the structure intro body and conclusion or uh, sir way forward is way forward depends upon the question for example what is the future of marriage way forward will be there what is the future of caste system way forward will be there it depends upon the question for example write about eb diller what way forward will be there it's a it's a thought no so way forward will not be there for every every topic or every question it depends upon the question eventually i will teach in the classes don't worry okay sir yes mirza big uh, sir sir like sir in eb taylor sir what are the contribution of eb taylor sir do we have to write uh, the criticism also for example in in his con- contribution part like he was ethnocentric so do we have to mention that uh, in the contribution or in criticism yes in criticism contribution question also you have to write the criticism with respect to anthropologists questions okay sir thank you but that that criticism should be very much limited okay sir Yes, Monica. Sir, while writing the answer, I just wrote about uh, Henry Morgan, uh, his uh, his all concepts as a key points. While I'm writing, I'm just getting to remember on only the key points. I'm not able to detail the key points. Sir. You have to write. Uh, means before writing an answer, what you do? You start practicing paragraphs simply, roughly. Psychic unity paragraph, culture parallels one paragraph, culture survivals one paragraph. So when you write an answer, this paragraph you can remember and you can write it. okay sir i'm i'm like uh, it's it i mean it making me easy that by writing the that uh, key points through flow chart and all that was used to me ah uh, the 100% you can use it to the points but if it is for 20 marker you have yeah. to expand no uh, while uh, uh, detailing the key point i'm unable to uh, write the reason you have to practice paragraphs first culture parallels one paragraph culture survival one paragraph psychic unit of mankind one paragraph or kinship studies of henry morgan one paragraph uh, champion of tribal rights one paragraph so contributions write paragraphs do practice they have same paragraph if you write once no you will remember and you will write in the answer sheet also okay so one more doubt sir for 10 marks question can i write it uh, through the flow chart uh, a pictorial representation 100% okay sir. that you should do okay sir so me Sir, uh, suppose like I am answering for a one fifty words question. 
so uh, i have to in intro i have to use a, a definition of any thinker and the definition uh, it itself is like uh, for six to seven lines yeah. so uh, how uh, shall i come no, no, see, again i have again and telling you you no need to remember complete definition it's humanly impossible remember only technical terms those technical terms you have to use in the definition to the point you have to explain what is marriage means boy girl coming together religion social sexual this relation is called as marriage or family to the point what are the technical words most important point should be in the definition it will take four five lines four five lines to hona chahiye it's like sir uh, can i just stick to uh, the technical the keywords that are required to answer that question means yes. if a definition has seven to eight keywords but i if i can i have to use three to four yes. is it okay yes enough evaluator also will search for keywords okay only just the relevant keywords right yes and sir if i if i have to answer for a 20 mark a question how much is the word limit that i should cover four pages see four there is pages. 250 words but 250 words means not 250 words four pages you have to fill okay. again they will not count words they just tell 250 words 250 words means four pages 200 words means three pages 15 marks 10 marks means 150 pages two pages thank you sir vivekananda Uh, so like the question is like uh, explain classical evolution then uh, it further adds what was the contribution of lh morgan in classical evolution so in the intro first should i write about lh morgan then i go for classical evolution or in the first pair of uh, because the questions first part was classical evolution so first i explain classical evolution in the second pair i start with lh morgan yes second paragraph you have to start with lh morgan yes chaitra sir i have been preparing since august sir my uh, mainly focusing on anthropology however my general studies preparation is not yet completed i was wondering if it's still possible to clear the exam in 2024 attempt uh, can you provide any advice or guidance on how to create an effective study plan for both anthropology and gs so that uh, it would be helpful for us okay ma tomorrow i will do why because you suddenly asked me yes if i suddenly answer also it will be non scientific so for your question most of the students most of my students are asking the same question so i will make a very good content and i will make one video and i will post please watch that i will thank you so much i will prepare on it practically and i will do it thank you sir yes danisha sir so for questions like uh, british diffusionism or uh, german diffusionism diffusionism as a whole uh, there will be three to four anthropologists and their contributions no sir how do we i couldn't manage to write all uh, all the content in the given uh, pages like 15 mark 3 3 pages i am exceeding to 4 pages like that so how do we you have, you have to make revision notes ma means what razel told four points what greibner told four five points what leo febinus told four five points what skimmit told four five points only that as a teacher i am giving you lot of content Yes, but sir. as a student you have to take only what is necessary important that is the reason no after explanation i am making you to remember what are the contribution 12 points yes sir no yes sir tell me radzel's contributions are what anyone radzel's contributions are what so one thing was direct contact he another thing was he did, he rejected geographical determination and proposed another that uh, four men four men gadan ka something four men gadan ki and uh, ha then he said cultural traits are uh, Uh, through uh, migration whereas through diffusion this cultural complexes go very good and uh, last i'm not able to Ar- remember organically inter- organic uh, interrelated organic organically interrelated yes next what are the contributions of greibner anyone sir yes. uh, about our culture uh, when two objects belonging to different cultures uh, it has certain similarity then uh, it is an indicator that uh, diffusion has happened uh, then uh, which do not uh, fit it is not borrowed so we not borrowed then uh, gave both uh, criteria of quantity and also quality mechanical combination of uh, culture yeah culture traits mechanical combinations is not possible organic it means organic yes yeah, yes very good very good. like this only bullet points we have to remember how to remember sir you have to study but don't by heart just try to understand shweta oran hello yes hello hello sir, i was i wanted to ask sir hello yes please Uh, sir, when the test series would start? Because I am actually at, uh, preparing for twenty twenty four attempt, so prelims would be in May last week. So I was just wondering ki, if I have an idea, test series cup start over. Which so, test series? Sir, this op- uh, anthropology. No, no, series. test series for you it is free. 
see every yes, sir, but i want to ask when the full test would start for this every sunday it will be there from next not this sunday from next sunday it will start and sir one more thing sir if, if for any particular day if there is one best copy sir it is a request sir, no, if you could just every um, weekly test single weekly, out that uh, weekly test i will share you the best copies and for that weekly test toppers who written test series and who are part of our program who became toppers no those copies also will share with you okay sir okay asta yes please sir in criticism of ls morgan there is a point the major weakness of its scheme was the confusion between synchronic and diachronic reconstruction i didn't get it no synchronic means static ma diachronic means dynamic so what is the criticism tell me again Uh, the major weakness of his scheme was the confusion between synchronic and diachronic uh, so see he he didn't told it it is not synchronic it is not static and he also told it is dynamic so he didn't fix it whether it is static or dynamic so he confused the people he told that culture is because of migration of people static and he also told that we will be adapting to the environment it is according to the environment there is a biological criteria developmental criteria we will change according to the local condition so he, he in one point he told dynamic in another point he told static so people are confused whether it is synchronic or diachronic sir in lh morgan ah lh morgan also same lh morgan also the same what lh morgan told see there are some kinship terminologies there are some kinship terminologies which are fixed like this the kinship terminologies will be there kinship systems will be there he told at the same time what he did he also did a field work but he didn't discuss about how the field works will be changing means the yes. dynamism part he didn't discuss means he didn't clearly told whether the kinship systems or the psychic unity of mankind or germ of thoughts is static or dynamic he didn't come to one conclusion hence people are confused okay sir but that is not there in the pdf yes sir it was in a book that is the reason the pdf is most important most valuable textbook is extra content yes sir i read it after reading pdf is danish sir so what's the maximum number of sentences to be written in conclusion part sir six lines for 10 marker uh, we can write a simple two two simple, three simple very simple you have to write technical words are different higher english language is different you should not read you should never write higher english language you have to write technical words but technical words are not higher english technical words mean jargon anthropology ka ek jargon hoga like civilization culture ethnocentrism ethnography monography ethnology these are not english these are technical words of anthropology related to anthropology it is called a jargon you have to use the jargon so very frequently we will be having such doubt clearing sessions okay weekly once or fortnightly once any preparation doubts or any gs doubts also you can ask me here i will be addressing it and i shared my number also no need to worry i will be available 24 bar 7 yes prasanna you can ask raise your hand and you can talk with me yes sir sir you uh, tell that in uh, ab tyler he argued that uh, the primitive man are less happy than the modern man so uh, can you explain once more in detail sir what the ab tyler will tell that savagery man is lesser happy barbarism man is little more happy <laughs> civilized man is more happier why why he told that he told that because savagery man doesn't have any approach towards the life he is like animal he will be in search of food only mm-hmm. why because animals are less he will not produce the food there is no motions there is no agriculture so he, every time from morning to he get up and he will be in search of food he don't have other aviation he doesn't have any other luxury he doesn't have any other comfort he doesn't have any other activity so he will not have any happiness according to ebdeller but barbarism he started domestication of animals domestication of plants so he have some leisure time he ate full so he had some leisure time so he want happiness so searching for happiness he is happier civilized man there are machines are there everything is there so he had lot of leisure time so he is more happier <laughs> this way he told savage man is less happier whereas civilized man is more happy but the criticism is but the criticism is the savage people are happier Uh, so uh, in criticism point can we mention the name of the criticizer also sir if if you mention it is good if you don't mention also no problem if you mention it is good uh-huh. because morgan uh, they described that uh, modern man is happier so it is not mandatory no sir no it's not why because already you are you will be having lot of anthropologists to remember like definitions contributions mm-hmm. 
so criticism also you cannot remember so if you give general criticism also sufficient because they are uh, all uh, these two are belongs to same category of evolution as well. so if we mention the both names on the same context is it any it makes any contradictory to the ah that is the reason i didn't mention the names if you see yes sir okay sir